Uh, that's probably about in focus. Look, we're all just doing the best we can. Hello everybody, I hope this video finds you well. It's about 10.30 at night and I'm coming to you from basically the center of the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, just north of Seattle, Washington. This is day six of the self-isolation, social distancing that my family is doing. My kids both were sick at the end of last week, one with an ear infection, one with some kind of cold or flu. We've, of course, talked to our doctor. They said, hang out, nothing super concerning, just get better. It's not clear that we've had the big scary virus, but we've had some kind of cold. So like so many people, we're just hanging out, trying to stay away from people. We don't want to get anybody else sick, and we surely don't want to have whatever anybody else has. Relatively speaking, I work from home a lot, usually one or two days a week, uh, sometimes more. Sometimes I'll go an entire week working from home if I don't have anything else going on at the office. It saves a few bucks, and it's a little greener, and, and frankly, it's just easier. And I'm fortunate that I have kind of a luxurious space to work in. It's nothing fancy, but um, it's but it's it's a good home office setup. Here, let, me, let me give you a quick tour. Computers, very fancy studio lighting of a couple of desk lamps. Dog bed, there's usually a dog asleep. Here's my very fancy charging station window ledge. Books and pencils and a few random photos. Some art. Rubber boots, of course. Having this space is a huge luxury for me. It means that I have a place to come at home and be creative and put myself into a working mindset. For me, that usually means putting on a good pair of headphones and just getting into a workspace. I think, like most crises, this pandemic is really all about time. Whether it's acting quickly to prepare yourself or save people, uh, or make a difference for your community or just your family, or for a lot of us, it's just biding our time. It's waiting for things to change, for news to come, for experts to tell us what the next move is. For me, time has become both uh, an amazing scarcity and a huge gift. Since we're keeping the kids home for at least a couple weeks for everything to just clear out, uh, my productivity has plummeted. Realistically, I'm only getting a couple hours of good teleworking done every day. I'm fortunate that my job is incredibly flexible. I don't have any teaching requirements right now. The graduate students I'm working with have been immensely understanding. My colleagues have all been really flexible and understanding. So for a while, at least, I have a lot of flexibility to just be present. I'm very lucky that my spouse is able to also work from home right now and share the load with the kids. But generally, I have the more flexible job. And right now, especially, I do. Both of my kids are under four, and so they just need a lot of attention. So it's been a lot of time the last week playing with my kids. In the face of this big, scary monster out there, and in those idle moments where I worry, if, did I get enough applesauce to last us for a week or two? Um, this is the true gift of time, that I have this time with my kids that I can be present, that I can spend with them. So I'm just trying to have as much fun as I possibly can with my kids over the next days or weeks or even months. For me, being in academia has always been about enjoying the journey, enjoying the work, and doing it on my own terms. And being able to prioritize my family and my life has always been something I've said has been important. Well, here we are. Despite all the terrible things happening in the world right now, I feel very lucky to be here and very happy to be living my values and spending this time. So I hope that you're staying healthy, that you're finding some moments to reach out and connect with people that you care about. And Astro Vlog fans, I hope that you remember that in spite of all of these scary big things that are happening in our world, the stars are still there and we're gonna get back to enjoying them. Okay, time to go to bed.